Yo, Yankees fans, what is up yet again? It is Felix from nynews.com. Like you, I just finished uh, watching the most boring road to the World Series ever. The Red Sox, really, if you ask me, they had a really lucky road to winning the pennant. First of all, if Walker never got hit on his foot, just imagine that that series would have went back to Boston and the Yankees could have been the ones um, clinching that pennant or maybe going uh, seven games with the Astros. So talking about the most boring uh, team ever that I've seen win the Yale pennant, let's talk about how sports writers, fans, etc., they're complaining about teams stealing signs, specifically the Red Sox and the Dodgers. I mean, it's common sense. The Red Sox were caught using Apple Watches last season. The way they're doing it, in my honest opinion, or the way you take these paranoid thoughts away from fans, start by inspecting helmets. We all know technology has come a long way. Most recently, there was news that China embedded a tiny, tiny chip into Apple iPhones and Amazon products or, or whatever, something like that. People can make the argument saying it's not true, whatever. Just Google it. Chinese chips inside Apple iPhone spying. So all of these writers talking about uh, the brewers are crying about the Dodgers stealing their signs and they don't know how. Uh, you could start by inspecting their helmets because I'm pretty sure if the Red Sox were using Apple watches to spy on other teams, the teams like that have moved up a notch. And in my opinion, I'm not saying it's fact, if you're going to move up a notch from Apple Watches, the most logical thing to do is to put some sort of mechanism inside the helmets of players. It could be as simple as little beeps. Oh, the opposing team's pitcher is going with a fastball in. It could be a variety of the same beep or the beep specifically for that pitch. Let's say it's a fastball in and that batter would get two beeps transmitted into his helmet two unique beeps for a off-speed pitch outside it could be a different beep two times see what i'm saying technology is so advanced and these teams want a heads up on the other team that i won't put anything past a team that wants to win by cheating and we all saw that last year with the boston red sox i mean if the Boston Red Sox were using Apple Watches, I mean, really, just think about how they could move up a notch. Specifically, in my opinion, it would be putting something in their helmets. So if Major League Baseball and all these riders, fans want to do something about it, start with that. Inspect their helmets. Hey, we might find out that their helmets are <laughs> made in China. Yes, I know Red Sox fans are going to hear this and say, Felix, you sound like a hater, but really, your team was using Apple Watches to cheat. I mean, come on. They're obviously into tech, and this is the most logical and common sense way that your team could be possibly cheating and stealing signs. Same with the Dodgers. The Brewers have no idea how the Dodgers are stealing their signs. I mean, it's quite obvious. So, moving away from a boring team, let's talk about Tony Pena. We all know Tony Pena was very influential towards the Latin players on the New York Yankees, specifically Gary Sanchez. We all know Gary Sanchez. I'm kind of embarrassed for Gary Sanchez that he doesn't know English yet or he's just lazy to not use an interpreter for interviews. I mean, if I were Gary, I would start seriously taking classes or whatever because he's looking ridiculous. And I'm Dominican, so uh, Gary, you look ridiculous. Time to use all that off time in the off season to not eat but to watch movies with uh, captions on there. So we all know Tony Pena was influential. I think Tony Pena severed ties with the Yankees. It wasn't the other way around because I think he interviewed for that manager spot on the New York Yankees and obviously they did not pick him. Or I think the Yankees did not consider him or something like that. So it was a bit of sour grapes, but... um. In my opinion, these two parties should uh, get together once again and work something out. 
the Yankees obviously need Tony Pena, obviously a former catcher, and obviously a former manager as well, so he knows the in and outs of dealing with being a manager. So it's really having a second manager, but for those Latin players. It's obvious that the Yankees need someone like Tony Pena once again in that clubhouse. So, and again, in my opinion, even a seminary source has said this, the Yankees need to bring back Tony Pena. So Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Do you think teams like the Red Sox are stealing signs? If they are, how? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.